hi guys welcome back to the next lecture and this is on logistic regression logistic regression is a simple machine learning method that you can use to predict an observations category based on the relationship between the target feature and independent categorical predictive features in the data set for example imagine you are a marketing data scientist for a major telecom service provider you have got a customer data set that describes each customer with variables like age, income, average call duration, interaction history with customer support, leftover minutes per month and customer status. Customer status is a variable that describes whether a customer is active or has cancelled services. Based on the predictive features in this data set, in their relationship with the customer status variable, you could build a logistic regression model that predicts whether a customer is likely to cancel services in the near future. This is called a customer churn model. Logistic regression differ from linear regression in that with logistic regression, you are predicting categories for ordinal variables. Linear regression, you are predicting values for numeric continuous variables. Examples of where logistic regressions come in handy is purchase propensity versus aid spend analysis, customer churn prediction, employee attrition modeling, and hazardous event prediction. Logistic regression has a lot less assumptions than linear regression, but there are some. First is that data is free of missing values. Second, the predicting variable is binary, in other words, it only accepts two values, or it could be ordinal, a categorical variable with ordered values. Third, all predictors are independent of each other. And the fourth one, that there are at least 50 observations per predictor variable to ensure reliable results. In the demonstration, I am going to show you how to test your data to see if it meets the assumptions of this model. So let's get started with the logistic regression demonstration. In this demonstration, you are going to need NumPy and Pandas as usual. So we will import those. We are also going to be using SciPy in the Spearman rank test. You saw in that in the previous video and we will be using matplotlib in Seabone. We will import these and then we need to use scikit-learn for the logistic regression model. So we will say import sklearn and then from sklearn there is a number of different tools and packages we need to import from sklearn. So I will just kind of copy this down a few times. So from sklearn preprocessing, we want to import the scale function and then from the linear model module, we are going to import logistic regression. Then from cross validation module, we need to import train test split. We are also going to import some matrices to use for evaluating our model. And we need to make sure that we import the pre-processing tools. So, okay, I have got and uh, and then I'm going to set the data visualization parameters for our Jupyter notebook, like we have been doing throughout the course. In this demonstration, we are going to use the empty cars data set. And I will print out the first few records just to see what it looks like. Now, I want to use the variables, bread and curb as predictive features to predict labels for the aim variable. Bread describes the rare axle ratio and curb describes the number of carburetor a car has. The aim variable describes whether a car has an automatic or a manual transmission. Before using these variables with logistic regression model though, I need to check whether they meet the model's assumption. First, I am going to create a subset of these variables and then check the model assumptions. Let's call the subset cars data. 
and we will use the special indexer dot ix or dot ilc iloc or loc and we will select column with index value 5 and 11 dot values and let's also create a list with the names for those columns so we will call that cars data names and then just name these dread and car so we can keep track of all this let's also isolate the target variable for our analysis we will call it y and it's just going to be cars.ix and then we are going to select the column with index value 9 that's the aim variable and then we will say dot values to access the values in that column and then let's run this and start tracking our assumptions the first thing we are going to check is for independence between features are our predictor variables ordinal remember that an ordinal variable is a numeric variable that can be grouped into only a limited number of subcategories it can assume an infinite number of values this is really just a shortcut around some of the more advanced assumptions that the logistic regression model makes and i want to pick ordinal variables for this analysis in order to do that i am just going to use a scatter plot so we will use cborn and we will say sp dot plot and for x we will set x equal to our dread variable and y equal to our curve variable our data is going to be equal to cars and then we will pass in scatter equal to true saying that we want a scatter chart and then print this out so here is a scatter plot of our two variables and we can see that these are categorical values neither of these variables take on an infinite number of positions they only take on set positions next let's see if these features are independent of each other first let's isolate the variables into a variable called dread and a variable called curve and we will say dread is equal to cars and then just select the dread variable and same with the curve variable we will select the curve column in the cars data frame and then let's apply spearman rank since these are ordinary variables we will call this uh, spearman r function and we will pass in our two variables dread and car and let's set the output for this so we want the spearman r coefficient in the p value of the test then we are going to print out a label and it's going to tell us what our r value is according to the spearman rank test okay so this variable pair is demonstrating a really almost no correlation so that's a good thing we can use this in the logistic regression model next we need to check the assumption that there are no missing values in the data set it's a really easy thing to check we just use the is null method we will say cause dot is null and then we will call sum of of that this is going to return a sum of how many missing values there are in each of the columns in the original data frame called cars and run that and as you can see we have zero missing values so that's good now we need to check that our target variable is binary or ordinal and so let's use the seaborn count plot function to do that so we will say sb dot count plot this function uses bars to show the counts of observations for each category in a variable so we are testing our target variable so we are going to say x is equal to m and then our data is equal to cars and we will set a ability of hls so we can see here that our m variable is binary it only assumes two values zero or one so that's how the surface the assumptions of the model next we need to check that the size of our data set is sufficient remember that you need to have 50 observations for each predictor so in this case we are using two predictors in our model so we would have 100 observations let's see what we have really got though 
we will call the info method of, of our cars data frame it returns information about that data frame and you can see here that according to the range index there is 0 to 31 so there is only 31 records and that could be a potential problem because this data set is pretty small so you want to keep that in mind when you are considering the results but for the purpose of this demonstration we are going to continue on now that uh, we have decided that these variables will work with the logistic regression model let's scale our data we are going to call the scaled data set x and then we are going to call scale and pass in cars data the next thing we need to do is instantiate a logistic regression object we will call it log reg and we will just set it equal to the logistic regression function next we call the fit method off of the model and pass in our predictor variables as well as our predictant this method fits the logistic regression so we will say log reg dot fit and then we pass in x and our target y then let's print out our r squared value to do that we say print log reg dot score and we see that we have an r square value of 0 0.81 which is not too bad if we had a value of 1 that would mean that it was a perfect fit if we had a value closer to 0 that means that the model does not fit at all I also want to use scikit-learn's matrix the classification report in order to evaluate our model based on precision and rigor to do that let's generate some predictive values from our model we will call those y pred and then we will just call our model log reg and call the predict method of of that and pass in our x data set and we imported the scikit learn matrix module already but let's just import the classification report from there so we will say from sklearn.matrix import classification report and then we will print out our results by saying print passing in the classification report function and calling that on our y variable our target variable and our predicted labels for that target variable y red and we see here that our total precision for the model is 0.82 and our recall is 0.81 so we know our model is adequate and there you have it we have walked through a basic logistic regression model using python in the next coming video i am going to show you how to do nav bias thanks for watching Please like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel and write in the comment section on how I can improve on this. Thanks.